Well, uh, welcome to the review for the Harlequins versus Cardiff. This is um, Forever Rugby on Forever Sport. And uh, what a game. What a really, really entertaining game we've just seen. Um, obviously, Quinn's coming away with a bonus point victory. A, it's seemingly quite a heavy, not, a, not not heavy, but a convincing victory on the scoreboard. Um, which, you know, if you didn't watch the game, doesn't tell you the story of the first half, being 17 all at halftime. Um Really great game to watch. The first half was amazing um, from both sides, which was um, which was really nice to see considering Cardiff's troubles at the moment with their um, players and their availability. Um, and all around, I think that that is probably one of the most enjoyable all European uh, matches I've seen in a while. Um, I think the Quins, you know, their attack was class. And it's exactly what you should expect from uh, Danny Kerr and Marcus Smith running everything. Uh, Don Brandt, star of the match, you know, huge game. Uh, two tries for himself and just big hits and big carries. Um, I thought uh, Esther Hazen and Jones linked well with the back three um, and really brought uh, Green um, and uh, Marchant and the other winger into the game really well. I thought Marchant played very well. Um, and yeah, it, it was a, look, it was, a, it was an arm wrestle in the first half, but both teams played well. And then in the second half, um, while the score, yeah, it, it, it is understandable. Um, I don't think it is a negative so much on Cardiff because Cardiff didn't play badly. It's just, they got out muscled by the forwards. The, the Harlequins forwards were dominant in the second half. And, um, yeah. And, and, and Harlequins backs also, they, they, um, they showed experience where um, Cardiff were lacking. Um, Cardiff, they should be very proud of how they how they played in the first half, and they got a yellow card as well for you know one of their players with actual experience, um, and still managed to go into the into halftime seventeen all. Um, so credit to them for that. They 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 stuck to it in the first half and played. They were slick. Their their backs played very well. Um, all of their new players, their debutants and their under-experienced players all played very well today. Um, I don't think actually anyone in, in the Cardiff team played badly um, or didn't play very well. Um, Halaholo and Ray Lilo had some really nice um, breaks in the first half. Not so much in the second, but in the first half, they had some good steps uh, off the line and some good good um, weaving and interlinking. Um Fisher's kicks in the first half were really good. I thought he put he pinned Harlequins back in their their um twenty two really decently, and that's probably what kept the score for Harlequins in the first half low, or rather, you know, in in comparison with Cardiff, they kept it uh, level. Um, I thought that the back three um for Cardiff were also really good. Not so much Jones. Um, Jones, yeah. Um, not so much Adam Jones, uh, but um, Cabango and um, Winnet, they both showed that they, they have what it takes to play in at this level. Um, and uh, Cabango showed one hell of a turn of pace um, when chasing those kicks. Uh, and Winnet at 15 looked solid, apart from I only saw one drop ball from him. Um, but other than that, you know, he looked, he looked really solid and he's only 18 years old. Uh, and it's his first start, and he looked really good. Played, played, played a really good game. Um, so yeah, I think it's a good platform for Quinns. Solid victory, bonus point. They're top of the log at the moment. Uh, they've obviously, you know, played a game more than everyone else except Cardiff. Um, Cardiff are bottom, but it's understandable considering where how the club is doing players wise at the moment. Um, you know, missing I think it's twelve regular starters. Um, any team is going to struggle, especially when they have to bring in 12 academy players and players that just don't have any experience in top flight rugby. Um, so I don't think they're doing too badly considering that. Um, but they will have, I think, a rough tournament if they can't sort it out relatively soon because, you know, there are some inc incredibly tough sides to play, especially like Toulouse. Um and Exeter and teams like that. And um, I don't see it getting much better for them, but 
it was it was it was great to watch them today. I think they really put it to Quinns. Uh, so credit to them, and obviously credit to Quinns for getting a solid victory um, and a bonus point win. Um, and yeah, so that's the take on the game. Um, look forward to the next one and look forward to how the um, rest of the competition goes for Quinns. And hopefully um, Cardiff can sort out their their struggles sometime soon. Um, see you at the next match. Cheers, guys.